Hi everyone, welcome back. It's Gina once again, and today is day nine of 100 Days 2023. Again, I bought my page, and I'm using leftover paint. I just want to get rid of it without getting rid of it. <laughs> so, honestly, again, I wasn't thinking. I just wanted to smash, you know, smear that paint on a page, and then I thought, hmm, maybe I could just like really use it so all this time i'm thinking and i'm you know i'm still just smearing paint right and then i actually liked those colors and i liked how it looked so i decided not to do anything else with them and i pulled out my papers and i saw when i had done the clothespin print and i liked how that looked and i thought brown looks good with with green and it looks good with the black and we have that on the page so let's do that then i pulled out some of these uh, masks these are masks that i made paper masks and i have the stencil as well and i layered them with um with 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 what do you call that not my mind is saying chalk but it's actually candle oh wow i don't know why right so i melted the candle and i brushed i took a brush and i brushed it on to protect the paper so that i'm hoping it's gonna last longer with the candle covering it right so i thought let's draw out this mask and get the shape and get the look at that you can't even tell it's a, a close one anymore right it's so cool oh i i didn't even think that i would do this with these prints i mean really so i'm trying to use the negative of the print and for the life of me i just couldn't get it to fit right on the page but i know that i needed to put something in that corner because it just felt really really empty and then it was kind of frustrating me so i thought let's add some stuff in the background so i pulled out my jelly roll pen and i'm just make it was supposed to be dots and I just started doing circles instead and then halfway through the dots the circles I was thinking Gina you should do some dots still so I did which is what's happening now I really like this print though like I when I, I remember when I was doing the close print print I was thinking do you know how are you gonna use these when are you gonna use these why are you doing the close and I just kept making more and more it was so exciting anyway <laughs> so right so that looks so like starry starry night you know that song do you know that song anyway so i'm gonna cut this piece because you know we want to make it interesting right and i'm still trying to fit piece on the left side because even though looking at it now i'm like this actually looks really nice you know i could have left it with just the two but my mind just kept saying things look better in trees threes threes <laughs> but yeah it was really tough so i'm gonna fiddle around once again trying to get that third piece stuck down with these other two i said let me just stick it down otherwise i'm gonna spend a whole night trying to find you know just to get it in position so the thing is with these pages i'm trying not to think too too much because you know that's when things get complicated and you end up spending hours on a page so i'm trying not to think too much i'm trying to make semi quick decisions quick and semi quick decisions don't want to frustrate myself i'm trying to keep it really as well quick i was gonna say simple but you know trying to keep it quick <laughs> so you see i'm trying to really trying to get this to you know to work that actually looked kind of okay the, well not this one the first one but it didn't feel right and it was kind of frustrating and then i felt like i just smashed up that piece even though i really wanted to use it so i thought okay let's start fresh let's do another one and see if we could get it to fit in that corner so i'm cutting it out and i'm gonna try again and hopefully get it to fit 
right? So I'm thinking that could work. I don't know why for the life of me, I didn't just draw a line. Because what's happening too is I'm trying to write. Right with my fingers, all I needed to do was draw a line. Draw a line where the border is. But I just, you know, I felt like being super genial and I just cut it on a whim. And of course I cut it badly, so now it's not fitting the way it's supposed to on the edge. And I was just really, look, I can't even pick it up because I have no nails. It's, I cut it really short. But that's okay. So I, okay, so I'm going to use the other piece. And then that piece in the middle is just really unnaturally long. It looks so weird. <laughs> so I'm trying to, oh, I tell you, this little piece, it really, it took a long time. So then I said, okay, we want to use the smaller one, but it's not working. So we'll use the bigger one, but kind of measure it down. So I'm using the smaller one against it to measure it down. And... That's how I ended up using it. And then I said, I am not going to do any more with this. I'm not going to try anymore. It's frustrating. And this is not what this is about. So I just left it at us and I stuck it down. And then I tried to rip it, but it was wet. So it was ripping very well. It was just kind of stretching and doing madness and moving around. So I brought my blade in. And I cut it as neatly as I can without trying to go through the page. And that is about it. I'm going to take off my tape, border tape. Add some more dots here and there. And that's pretty much it. So let me know what you think. I found this one was very interesting. I really like it. It's kind of refreshing and... I don't know, it, it, it makes me think of outer space and uh, Earth at the same time. So cool. Yeah. So, I will see you for the next video, everyone. Thank you so much for watching and for your encouraging words. And y'all are awesome. And I hope y'all are creating too, even if you're not taking part. <laughs>